All right guys, my name is Landon and I'm a product specialist and video host for LMR.com. For those of you that are regular viewers and are already subscribed to our channel, welcome back. Any of you that have just now found us, welcome to the channel. All right guys, I figured it was time to give my review and impressions for the 2018 Mustang. Now I could have easily jumped in front of a camera when we first got this car and gave all of you a general opinionated video just like everyone else, but that's an opinion and not an experience. After driving and working on this car for a little over two months now, I have an experience that I can share with all of you. Now being diehard Mustang enthusiasts, we have to have the latest and greatest Mustang that hits the street. Now since the 2018 Mustang GT features the all new 10 speed 10R80 transmission and of course the third generation Coyote engine, it was a must have for us here at LMR. All right, so this journey started back in October from a Facebook ad from Lebanon Ford in Lebanon, Ohio. We were actively searching for a 2018 Mustang whenever we got news that these cars would be hitting the dealership lots. We made a call after call trying to see what dealership would possibly have the first 2018 Mustang available in the country. Now for us, our ideal car would have been a car with a 401A package with the performance pack and 10R80 10 speed automatic transmission. Before you guys get into a frenzy and a fuss, or whatever you wanna call it, about why manuals are better than automatics, yada, 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 you gotta bang gears to have fun, whatever. We wanted the 10R80 because, you know, for one, it was the latest and greatest technology from Ford, and of course, we have always purchased manual equipped Mustangs. Well, when we saw the Facebook ad, I called Lebanon Ford, spoke with Frank, and immediately got the inside scoop on this particular car. This particular car did have the performance package, had the 10R80 10 speed automatic transmission, which was good. Now the only catch, it had the 300A package. That means it's as bare bones as bare bones can get. However, we saw it as an opportunity. This car was roughly $39,000 to $40,000, whereas the car we had initially planned on purchasing was in the $52,000 to $55,000 range. Now this gave us a lot more mod money so we could dial in the car the way we wanted to with several aftermarket goodies. We made the trip to Ohio, bought the car, and drove it back nonstop all the way to Texas for 16 hours straight. Talk about engine break-in, right? The trip ended up being roughly 1,100 miles. The following day, we went to work with doing what we do best, initial testing and acquiring much needed data, which at the time was unavailable for the 2018 Mustangs. Our 2018 Lightning Blue GT made a surprising 416 rear wheel horsepower and 397 pound-feet of torque. Now that was with 93 octane fuel and the transmission in seventh gear, which is the one-to-one -one ratio for the new 10R80 10-speed automatic. Now because the factory speed limiter in the car would only let us rev to 6,600 RPMs, I know for a fact there was more power to be had if we could have rev this thing to the factory limit of 7,500. Those results were SAE corrected to sway any doubters, and since the car does have the performance package, it comes equipped with 355 rear end gears since it's an automatic car. The MT82 cars with the performance package come with 373. Ford raced the Gen 3 Coyote engine with 460 horsepower and 420 foot pounds of torque at the flywheel. I'll be talking more about the Gen 3 Coyote engine later on in the video. So with the dyno numbers now out of the way, it was time to get this thing to the scales and to the drag strip. On our local CAT certified scale, our car weighed in at 3,860 pounds with a full tank of gas and no driver. Now surprisingly, that's fairly heavy. However, if you consider the 15 and a half gallon gas tank and a gallon of gas weighing approximately 6.3 pounds, well, that's roughly 100 pounds in fuel. Now the next adventure for us was the drag strip. Our local strip is down in Little River, Texas, which is Little River Dragway, and they were kind enough to open up and let us do a couple shakedown passes to see if we could chase an 11 second time slip in factory trim. Now after a few passes to get used to the car and dial in tire pressure and what RPM the car liked to lead the line at, we ended up running a 1202 at 117 miles an hour, which is not bad for a 100% bone stock Mustang GT. Now since our car has the 300A package, it doesn't have any of the selectable driving modes. Now speaking of those modes, Ford claims this new 2018 GT can rip a sub four second zero to 60 time if it has the performance package and if the car is in drag mode. Because we sell Mustang parts for a living, it was time to start tearing into this thing, which I was pretty pumped for. I installed one of our SVE Resonator Delete X pipes on the car, 
which gave this thing a whole new attitude. After that came a set of our SVE R350 wheels in satin bronze, a set of our SVE progressive rate lowering springs, which to me really set off the lightning blue paint color and gave the car a much better stance as most springs do. The SVE progressive rate springs are designed to lower S550 Fastback GTs approximately one inch. So now that the car rode great, looked great and sounded totally badass, it was time to head back to the track and earn our 11 second time slip. This time, we did go prepared. The car was rocking a killer set of weld RTS drag wheels and the seats had been removed. I managed to pilot the car to an 1188 pass at 120 miles an hour. While we were hoping for something faster, the car needed a better 60 foot in order to get that. So content with the pass, it was time to get it back to the shop and for me to really start tearing into this thing. Over the course of two months, the car received several suspension upgrades from Steeda, which we can't thank enough for building high-end parts and jumping on board to supply those parts for our 2018 Mustang build. Those mods included their Pro Action shocks and struts, front and rear sway bar package, IRS support braces, jacking rails, hood struts, and camber plates. These added goodies really set the car up for what we wanted, which is a well-rounded daily driver we can take to the drag strip, and of course, what we absolutely love around here at LMR.com, road racing. I had no plans on stopping there. Watson Racing hooked us up with one of their four-point bolt-in roll cages and rear seat delete which I was really excited about. The darn thing bolts right into place and everything went together exceptionally well for it being such a detailed part. Not to mention, I personally like the look of roll cages. Well guys, now that all that gibberish is out of the way, I'm gonna hop into our 2018 Mustang GT. I'm gonna talk about the 10R80, the MT82, the interior and exterior changes that they made for the 2018 Mustang, and of course, talk about the Gen 3 Coyote engine. So let's get to it. All right, guys, we've jumped in here inside of our 2018 Mustang GT. I'm gonna go over transmission options, changes for the 2018 Mustang, differences between the first gen S550, and of course, the generation three Coyote engine. Now for our car, it's the 10-speed 10R80 transmission. Now this transmission was a co-development uh, over a course of several years between both Ford and General Motors with Ford leading the project. Now dimensionally it's the same, uh, about the same as the outgoing 6R80 and of course as far as weight it's approximately 235 pounds. Now the designation for 10R80 is that the 10 represents 10 forward gears, the R means it's for a rear wheel drive application and the 80 represents 800 newton meters of torque capacity, which if you do the calculation, you're gonna get about 590 foot pounds of torque. Now like the 2015 to 2017 Mustangs with the 6R80, Ford is still utilizing the paddle shifters. These things allow the driver to have control of the power band of the engine, and I guess kind of make you feel like a race car driver if you must. This is good, man, this is easy. Now, as much as I hate to say it, and of course, as much as I love to say it, the 10R80 transmission is without question in a league of its own. And I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. I mean, being an avid road racing enthusiast, I'm a manual guy through and through, but without a doubt, 10R80 transmission gets two thumbs up. Now, for any of you guys that are hardcore manual Mustang enthusiasts and you believe in that third pedal, Get out and go drive a 10 R80. Uh, you're gonna be impressed without a, without a doubt. I can guarantee it. Now, speaking of the three pedal mafia folks, the MT82 six speed manual transmission was once again overhauled throughout for the 2018 model year. Changes include a dual mass flywheel similar to the one found in the GT350 and GT350R Mustangs. Now speaking of that third pedal, the MT82 six-speed manual transmission was once again overhauled throughout for the 2018 model year. Now changes include a dual mass flywheel and twin disc clutch setup similar to the one found in the GT350 and GT350R Mustangs. Along with those changes, Ford did revise the gearing in the gearbox to further utilize the Gen 3 Coyote's power potential throughout the entire power band. Okay, so on the revised gearing note, fourth gear is now one to one, fifth and sixth gears are designated to overdrive to provide maximum fuel economy on the highway. All right, now that I've got the 
10R80 10 speed and MT82 transmissions covered. I'm going to discuss the differences between the first gen S550 and that of the 15 to 17 models, and of course the second gen S550 and that of the 2018 model. Interior changes were subtle, leaving majority of the changes to the exterior of the car. Now the key changes to the outside of the car were primarily targeted toward the front and the rear of the car. These will include, of course, a lower hood, a more aggressive aero nose, integrated fog lights and turn indicators, as well as an update to the iconic S550 headlights. Ford even went as far as throwing in a little nostalgia styling to the redesigned heat extractors to kind of resemble the ones found on the iconic 0304 Terminator Cobra. Now out back, the GT gets quad tip exhaust standard and a subtle tail light change also flows a little better with the rear of the car. Now our car does have the GT 350R inspired rear wing, which is an option on the level one performance pack, which is what this particular car is. Furthermore, kind of diving back into the inside of the car a little bit, the 401A package car receives the game-changing and absolutely killer 12-inch LCD instrument cluster along with a few additional amenities. The 2018 Mustang also gets a wide variety of wheel options, and of course that's going to depend on the package and trim you choose. Carrying over from the GT350 and GT350R Mustang is the Magna Ride damping system, which is roughly a $1,700 option in accordance with the performance package. Another feature that was once only available to the flagship Mustang is the active valve performance exhaust. The way this works is with the touch of a button, you can easily pick the exhaust note of your choice. And of course, I think Ford threw in four different exhaust modes for those cars that have the active valve performance exhaust feature. Now I guess saving the best for last, I'm gonna talk about the Gen 3 Coyote engine and of course the changes Ford made to improve this already great platform. The Gen 3 Coyote engine is up 25 horsepower and 20 pound-feet of torque from the Gen 2 and this engine boasts a impressive 460 horsepower and 425 foot-pounds of torque at the flywheel. Ford was able to increase power and torque numbers by bump and compression from 11 to 1 to 12 to 1. A little bit larger bore, which now pushes this engine north of the actual 5 liter number, which all the, uh, the 11 to 17 Coyote engine was actually approximately 4.9 liters. It really wasn't a true, a true 5 liter. So with compression and bore, they also added direct injection along with standard port injection to the Gen 3 Coyote. And in my mind, that was probably one of the biggest additions to the engine itself was the direct injection technology. So now having both traditional port style injection and direct injection, Ford is able to really dial in the Gen 3 Coyote's true power potential. Open quote, the car's 5.0 liter V8 features dual fuel, high pressure direct injection and low pressure port fuel injection technology for increased power and efficiency, close quote, says Ford. A redesigned intake manifold allows the Gen 3 engine to now rev all the way to 7,500 RPM. So you, you high power band guys are really gonna love that. And of course the torque curve now comes on sooner. And of course with the revised gearing in the MT82 and the addition to the 10R80 allows the Gen 3 Coyote power band to be utilized more efficiently. Well guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up my overview, my experience of our 2018 Mustang GT. And man, it's been a good one. Um, you know, I've been working on the car, I've been driving the car for a, around three months now. And this thing is, is an absolute blast. You know, of course, we did buy a 2015 Mustang when they when those came out in 2014. Absolutely love that car. So, you know, was real anxious to get behind the wheel of this thing, especially with the 10R80 10-speed transmission. And Ford really did knock this thing out of the park. So for those of you still on the fence about a 2018 Mustang, and, oh, I hate the front end, I hate the rear end, yada, 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 all the new model year BS, get off the couch, go test drive one. Test drive the 10-speed, test drive the MT82. Go see for yourself how awesome this entire car is because Ford really did a damn good job on this 2018 Mustang, if I have to say so myself. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. 
course, for all things 79 to present Mustang and SVT Lightning, you know what to do by now. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Snapchat, on Instagram. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can see all the great killer content we have coming your way and more on this awesome 2018 Mustang. Until next time, guys, we'll catch you later.